Coffee Break Swedish, Season 1, Lesson 27. Hej och välkomna till Coffee Break Swedish. Jag heter Mark. Och jag heter Hanna. Hur mår du, Hanna? Jag mår bra, Mark. Hur mår du? Ja, idag mår jag jättebra. I'm delighted to be back for another lesson of Coffee Break Swedish. And this lesson is it's going to be a fantastic lesson. We're probably talking about something that's not the most exciting of topics. <laughs> but it's one of those things that we need to do. And we're hopefully going to make it fun. Hanna... Well, yes, it's the alphabet, Mark, and it's very useful to know. So we're going to be learning how to spell words because obviously you would need to spell your name or perhaps understand understand other people spelling their names um, and also be able to, to, to spell street names, for example, if you're looking for something on a map. Um, how do you say the alphabet in Swedish? Alphabetet. Alphabetet. Okay, well, that's what we're going to learn. Ska vi börja? Låt oss börja. Okay, Hannah, I think the very first thing that we should do is learn the alphabet itself and then we can learn how to spell things and, and all that kind of thing. So can you see the, the Swedish letter? We'll leave a space so that our listeners can repeat, and then I'll repeat it, okay? And then we'll go through each lesson, each letter like that. Okay. And I think the most difficult ones are those that are quite similar to English, but they're still a bit different, okay? Yeah. Okay, that, sounds, that makes sense. Let's begin. <laughs> A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. E. F. F. G. G. H. H. I. I. J. J. K. K. L. L. M. M. N. N. O. O. P. P. Q. Q. R. R. S. S. T. T. U. U. V. V. W. W. X. X. I. I. Z. Z. O. I thought you had finished there. I'm <laughs> forgetting that we've got three extra letters. <laughs> o. A. A. Ö. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, as we say, that's not the most fascinating piece of audio that you'll ever listen to, but we do need to learn these letters. Kind of, can we talk about some of them? Um, there were some that were um, a little bit surprising. Certainly, I got a, a surprise when we came to Z or Z, which was? Zeta. Zeta. Okay. And then uh, the, 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 the vowels are quite tricky. Yeah, and I think especially the soft vowels. So you have e, 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 a. Right. So um, let's start with the the letter e in English, like e as an egg. In Swedish, that would be e, e, 
Okay. And then the letter I in English, as in uh, igloo. I. I. Okay. Then we had Y. I. Yeah, see, that's very difficult because it sounds so like I. I know. And my students would like be practice and practice and practice. And it is really difficult for a non-Swede, I think, to hear the difference. So can you say, first of all, I, then Y together? E, E. Okay. E, E. How's that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it, I think that sounds good, Mark. So with Y, E, you kind of push it further forward in your mouth. Um, so E. E. And E, it's almost like you, you um, make a smile or you, yeah. you, you stretch your mouth. Yeah, I'm actually just doing that. I'm like, smiling. It's like, cheese. <laughs> okay, and what about the, the extra letters at the end then? Because we have three bonus letters in, in Swedish. Yes, and quite often my students just feel like that is just noises. So we first have the O. O, so that's the one with a circle on top, the A with a circle. Exactly, and you make your mouth into a circle because it's a circle on top of the A. So O. Or, and then you have the air. Air. See that to me sounds like egg, as in egg in in English. The e of egg in English. Air. Yes, and for for Swedish children when they learn to write, it's very difficult to separate an e and an air. Um. So you, it's you and the Swedish children, Mark. Okay. So, um, uh, which of these is correct? A or e? The last one, a. A, okay. But can a with two dots above it sound like a? So it's to do with those long and short vowel sounds that I always go on about. Um, so if you have a, you can have a short sound, like with, with an egg. Mm -hmm. So it's egg. Egg, okay. And if, but you have a word, for example, ega, which is a g a. Then you have that eh, eh sound more. Aga. Perfect. Yes, the bra. Okay. Right. So we've learned the alphabet. Now we know it inside out, and I'm sure everyone can can re recite it without even thinking about it. Maybe you want <laughs> to go back and listen again. That's fine. But what about the whole idea of spelling things? How what's the word to spell in in, in Swedish? Uh, at stava. At stava. Right. So how, how would I say, how do you spell that, for example? Well, I'm going to make it a little bit complicated here because um, to ask that question, I would say, hur stavas det? Oh, I think I see what's going on here. This stavas, the S ending is like turning it into a passive. So how is that spelled? Yes, perfect. So you can say, hur stavar man det? So how does one spell that? Um, but the simple way is just say, who stavas det? Right, so who stavar man det? How does one spell that? How spells one that, literally? But who stavas det, just using the, the passive, how is it spelled? Yes, perfect. Okay, can we try this out? Yes, and let's practice our alphabet as well. So I thought we would go back to lesson 24 because that had quite a lot of difficult words. And um, we talked about clothing then. So if I said to you, Mark, Shul, who stavas de? I think I would say, uh, do, do I just say de stavas as the response? Ja, jättebra. Excellent. Uh, de stavas uh, k j o l Bra! Um, k j o l k i o l Okay, sorry. Okay. K. Right. Um, let me see if I can remember one of the words from uh, that same lesson. Hurta. Bra! Hurta! Yeah, do you remember what it meant? That's a shirt, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And um, 
non-Swedes um, often feel that they want to ask, who starve us there? Um, because <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated with the, with the h sound. So, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll ask you then. Hota, who starve us there? They starve us S K J O R T A. Jättebra. So S K J O R T A for hurta. Right. Anything else? Um, I, I'm I'm not sure how how much you like this word, Mark, um, because I think you had a bit of problem pronouncing it. So if I said hwig, who starve us there? Hwig. <laughs> so that's the beard, isn't it? Um, uh, de stavas s ko e g g. Jättebra and well done on the pronunciation of e. That was it was it was good that we went through it earlier because you said that perfect. So excellent. Excellent. Tack så mycket. Okay, <laughs> what what else would we need to spell? Well, I guess what is often important is how you spell people's names. Of course. So I could ask you, how do you spell your name? And that would be, hur stavas ditt namn? Right, so how is your name spelled? So hur stavas ditt namn? Um, okay, det stavas M-A-R-K. Jättebra, M-A-R-K. Och hur stavas ditt namn, Hanna? Oh, mitt namn det stavas H A N N A. H A N N A. Okay, you said mitt namn there. Um, so the the ditt namn and mitt namn is that because namn is an et word? Excellent. You you start to understand how Swedish works. <laughs> yes. So when it comes to possessive, it depends if it's n et. Or, or or plural. So, uh, et namn becomes mitt and ditt. And when when we would ask, for example, how do you spell his name? We would say Hans. Mm-hmm. Hans, okay. Hennes. Um, and if we would ask um, how how do you spell their name, um, then it would be deras. Deras, okay. What about there as in the hen? Uh, singular. Uh, then we just say hens. hens. So uh, yes, so hen but with an s on. So who starts hens namn? Right. So th- this is all for um, the et version. Should we go through all of these possessive adjectives while we're at it? Yeah. Why not? Can we choose a word to represent each each one of these? So min, uh, something, uh, an N word, mit, with, well, we'll use nam for mit. What will we use for min? Let's pick something simple that we're familiar with. So uh, min bil. Min bil, my car. Yeah. And uh, mina, uh, mina hundar. Oh, my dogs. Okay. Right. So let's start with my then. So my car. Min bil. My name. Mitt namn. And my dogs. Mina hundar. Okay, that's fine. What about your, uh, so your car? We just put a D on it, so din bil. Your name. Ditt namn. And your dogs. Dina hundar. Okay, so what happens with his? It's really good with his. It just stays the same. So we say uh, Hans bil. Yep, his car. Hans namn. His name. Och Hans hundar. Right, so even with the plural, it stays the same. Yeah, you sound very happy about this. <laughs> Absolutely, his dogs. <laughs> so does the same happen with Hennes? Yes, so it's uh, Hennes bil. Yep. Uh, Hennes namn. Mm-hmm. Och hennes hundar. Right, excellent. And then the the, the gender neutral one, hens. Hens bil, hens namn, hens hundar. Right. Now the good news would be if this continued. Does it continue for the next ones? Is Swedish mark? No, it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't. <laughs> when we just got used to it, 
let's back <laughs> go back to the old um <laughs> pattern okay so what about for hour then yeah so hours is um start with vår so vår bil so our car vårt namn our name våra bilar our cars okay so vår vårt våra and what about your in the plural then we have the same system there so we have er bil mm-hmm. erat namn oh okay that's that's quite different so er bil your plural car erat namn your name and then oh. your era <laughs> era hundar Era hundar. Okay, so your dog. Or dogs, rather. Um, and finally, there. Because it's third person, but third person in plural, we go back to that, that we don't change it. So it's deras um, bil, mm-hmm. uh, deras namn och deras hundar. Jättebra. Okay, I like those ones. I think we're going to take a short break there just to let all of this sink in. All the Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully all of these possessive uh, adjectives <laughs> make sense and that we've now learned them and the letters of the alphabet and we can spell things. What's next, Hannah? Well, we're going to do this dialogue and I guess the important difficulty with Swedish is Swedish names um, and places. So um, the dialogue is that we're meeting up somewhere and uh, we're trying to arrange it and we don't understand how it's spelled. Okay, and to help us with the dialogue, we'd like to welcome back Louisa. Hey, Louisa, hur mår du? Jag mår bra, tack. Hur mår ni? Uh, jag mår jättebra, tack. Jag mår bra, Louisa. Okay, so what's going to happen here? We'll listen to the dialogue twice. We're going to hear it first time, and then we'll hear it again, and then we'll talk about what's going on in the dialogue. And uh, let's imagine we're out and about in the streets of Stockholm for this dialogue. Ska vi träffas på Sergels torg vid rulltrappan? Vadå någonstans? På Sergels torg. Jag vet inte var det ligger, men jag tittar på kartan. Hur stavas det? S-E-R-G-E-L-S-T-O-R-G s e r G E L S T O R G Nej, det är fel. Det är med E. S E R G E L S T O R G Åh, nu ser jag det på kartan. Okej, okay, vi ses där. Klockan elva. Vi ses då. So Hanna, what do you think? How, how did I do? I think you did so well. Especially with the S. And unfortunately, Sagas Tori is not spelt with an S. But <laughs> yeah. you said that perfect. But no, well done. I think that's the, the issue that's going on here. So we, we, I, I was misunderstanding how uh, Louisa was, was uh, spelling things. So let's listen to the conversation one more time and then we'll go through it together. Ska vi träffas på Sergels torg vid rulltrappan? Vadå någonstans? På Sergels torg. Jag vet inte var det ligger, men jag tittar på kartan. Hur stavas det? S E R G E L S T O R 
G. S Ä R G Ä L S T O R G. Nej, det är fel. Det är med E. S E R G E L S T O R G. Och nu ser jag det på kartan. Okej, okay, vi ses där klockan 11. Vi ses då. Okej, okay, tack så mycket Louisa. Tack så mycket. Hej då. Hej då. Okej okay, Hanna, let's go through this. What did uh, Louisa say to begin the conversation? Ska vi träffas på Sargens torg vid rulltrappan? Okej, okay, så so, ska vi träffas. Träffas means to, to meet each other. Um, ska vi träffas på Sargens torg? Um, shall we meet up on uh, Sergej's story? Uh, vid rulltrappan. So what's rulltrappan? I'm sure I've seen that in, a, in, in an airport. Yeah, so rull to roll and trappa is staircase, so an escalator. An escalator, okay. And then my response to that was was what? Var då någonstans? No, I obviously, I, I was reading this from a script, so I'm, I'm reading the words, but I'm not necessarily fully understanding these words in this case. Var, I mean, I, I know that, that means where, but what's this vardå nonstans? What exactly does that mean? So nonstans means um, somewhere, so I guess it's double double where somewhere, if you say what I mean, if you do a, a translation, but it just means where. Okay, so vardå nonstans where then somewhere yes <laughs> like, okay where, whereabouts I, yeah. I guess whereabouts is is, is similar so um we, we certainly say that, say that in scotland's whereabouts um pardon nonstans okay and then louise Riff responded po sergil's tori so just giving in this place name again po sergil's tori and what did i say then jag vet inte var det ligger men jag tittar på kartan hur stavas det so, jag vet inte var det ligger. I don't know where that is. Men jag tittar på kartan. But I look on the map. And then, hur stavas det? How do you spell it? And then we had the whole scenario of spelling it. We had, <laughs> I had basically misunderstood the A and thought it was E. So I was looking for S-A with, a, with two dots. R-G-A with two dots. And then I wasn't finding it on the map. So what did Louisa say at that point? Nej, det är fel. Det är med e. Okay, so nej, det är fel. Um, so I think I've heard you saying that in response to something that, like, you know, for example, when we've been doing a translation and you say, no, that's wrong. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you, <laughs> um, you just learned how, how Swedish people respond when you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be fair, most of the time you do say, nästan, but yeah, in this case, no, you're wrong. Yeah, that was Lisa who said that. <laughs> Okay, so no, you're wrong, or no, that's wrong. It's with an E uh, rather than an E. So, der mit E. Ja, and because Louisa said that, then you could say, Oh, nu ser jag det på kartan. So, oh, now I see it on the map. So, interesting word order there, because we've got the O. Oh, nu ser jag det på kartan. O, oh, now see I it on the map. Yes, and do you remember if you have you start a sentence with a, a time and a place, we have to move the subject and the verb. So uh, the next word is the verb. Okay, so nu ser jag det på kartan. And then I said, okay, vi ses där klockan elva. So I'll see you there at eleven. Yes, and uh, Luisa responds, vi ses då. See you then. Yeah. Okay, so that was our conversation and that's where we're going to leave this lesson of Coffee Break Swedish. (music) 
Now, of course, you can access the bonus materials for Coffee Break Swedish by going to the Coffee Break Academy. There you'll find the lesson notes, the video version for this lesson, and also our bonus audio. And in our bonus audio, we're going to be testing you this time on some spellings. So, Hannah, you're going to be reading out some Swedish names and place names and so on, and our, our listeners are going to have to write them down or take a note on their phone. Yes, because I think that is what most non-Swedes have a problem with, um, Swedish place names and, and names in general. So I'm looking forward to, to trying that out in the bonus uh, materials and if you'd like to access that then you can do so at coffeebreakacademy.com And you can find us on Facebook, just search for Coffee Break Swedish and we post regular content to help you build your culture knowledge of everything Swedish. We will be back next time with uh, lesson 28 Until then, tack så mycket Hej då! You have been listening to a Coffee Break Languages production for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2021 Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2021 Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved.